Hello everyone, welcome back to my tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to solve this simply supported beam in Codaster. So, we will compare the result with the analytical result after solving it. So, first I am opening Salomeca. Salomeca is the uh, free and post open source free and post posting software and it has Codaster which has FEA software it's wonderful FEA software now we just go for German remodeling so so this is my model breadth is 140mm and height is 200mm length is 2000mm this is I'm going to model in meter so I already modeled in uh, Salomeca, I have saved the file. In this tutorial, we will see how to import the file. So, now we just go to my folder. Here, here I have created the file. This is my file. Tutorial 1 beam.step file. So, we will open the step file in Salomeca. So, file import step. Now, just go to the location. this is my file just choose this file just open it now it will ask take into account the units embedded to the file ignoring units will cause the model scaling as dimension are supposed to be specified in meter so now we just make it s so after importing you just check the file so select this file go to inspection dimensions bounding box now you can see in z direction it is in 2 that means 2 meter remaining are in meter only so whatever we have expected the same only it came now just close go to the model this is my model so this is my model now we will create a groups for applying the boundary conditions go to create group volume group select all beam just apply now in left side this edge we are going to fix it and this edge we are going to apply roller support just select this edge now choose this edge add fix just apply it now select this edge add make it roller just apply it now this top surface we are going to apply a pressure here you see here we are going to apply a pressure of 2 megapascal that means 2 into 10 power 6 newton per meter square that way we are going to apply so change this into space face select this top surface add just name it as pressure pressure just apply and close now we have created all the groups to apply the boundary condition now we can save this file I'm just saving this into study one to save it now I have saved it now we can take this file for meshing just go for meshing select this pad mesh create mesh now uh, we can go for X mesh also now I'm going to create tet mesh so I'm going to use netgen 1d 2d 3d here the simple parameter here I'm going to specify 0 0.02 save ok then apply and close now right click this mesh one compute now the meshing is done if you want to see the mesh information go for mesh mesh information we have created 38937 tetra element this much triangle elements and this much edges and nodes are 8632 nodes just close now just check the groups so there are two groups to apply the boundary conditions one phase group to apply the load this is a volume group now I have saved it just go for aster study uh, this is a simple case 
we can solve this case by using assistant now right click this current case here there is an option called add stage with assistant there is a wizard to create a setup uh, to solve now our case is isotropic linear elastic model choose this linear elastic isotropic here the two boundary condition only we are going to apply so just go for next again next again next so this two material property is enough now go to next plus and plus first one is fix so i'm going to fix it in all the direction and next one is roller just say okay now i have modeled my geometry in this axis is z direction so this z direction i'm going to leave it here so free so this x and y i'm going to fix it z i'm going to leave it because it's free to move it's a roller supporter make it make it next here i'm going to apply pressure choose pressure save okay i just want to apply a pressure of 2 megapascal that is 2 into 10 power 6 2 e power 6 is done now just go to next now we have to save the output file so pictures code aster ending here i'm naming it result underscore beam dot rmd results beam rmd save it finish it now you see all the setup are created reading mesh model definition defining material assigning material two boundary conditions results now what it will do this result this solver this mechastatic it will calculate only the primary variable displacement if you want to see stress one with stresses everything we need to calculate we need to derive these stress from the displacement further just go for post processing called champ use the same name result constraint it here we can take directional stresses sigma l no sigma node in criteria we can take from equivalent l no and equivalent node so here we can take this mechastatic now just save up okay now we have done in output just go here just change this respective static from the cult champ use this mesh just save ok remaining things keep it just apply it save ok now everything is done now we can save this file now we can solve the file just go for history view click make sure you have clicked your current keys click this plus button and click this one also now here just change this into 5 second run it just wait for a while here the message file will come while running the message file will go here and a graph will go now post processing is doing now see so solver is done the calculation now post processing so deriving the results is going now we, the results are done without any error now we'll do the post processing in paraviews just open the file pictures code aster the result file is result beam dot rmd just open it just apply it so this is our beam just go here displacement we want to see the maximum displacement in y direction just go here now we can change the color pattern go here rainbow blue to red apply close similarly just go change this value into 12 so maximum displacement uh, deformation is coming in 3 into 10 power minus 3 now we can check here this is actually point so
here we are getting 2.9 in a finite element analysis we are uh, in analytical results we are getting 2.9 meter here we are getting 3 so it's almost very close uh, now we will check with the stresses now just go to uh, directional stresses now we just want to see the bending stress in Z so Sigma is at so now this is also I, ch I will change this that into blue to red just apply close this is I just making it to 12 now see so the maximum bending stress is here 150 here we are getting tension here we are getting compression sorry so yes because this is bending like this so while bending this it's getting tension here here it is compre compression so 150 150 megapascal we are getting so see here 150 megapascal so this is coming in Newton per meter square similarly we can check with the one mesh stress also this is the one mesh stress so now I'm just changing this into rainbow blue to red apply and close here I'm just making this value into 12 now here actually maximum maximum stress is coming here 2.2 that is because we are completely fixing here due to the fixed bound condition we are getting high stress here so now we'll check the stresses in this location that is uh, by using filter option go to filter church there is an option called extract here there is an option called extract location just tick this one press sector now we just just want to select it now we select this volume element only this particular portion now just go here then just make it apply sorry copy selection make it apply now we got this file here we need to check the results so now choose this one one visa stress now just scroll down here there is an option called rescale to the visible range this is rescale to the data range whatever the data we are in the total file that that will show here that is the rescale to the data range this value if you want to rescale to the visible range you just click this one now you see the stress is 150 here we are getting stress, one with stress of 150 megapascal if you want to enlarge the selection just click it here copy selection apply it now it will enlarge similarly click it here copy selection apply it this way it will grow copy selection apply it this way we can select and enlarge the selections similarly we can reduce also copy selection apply it copy selection apply it this way we can reduce the selection also we can see the results where we are getting maximum maximum results so there is one more option selection display inspector this is we can view it by using windows there is an option called selection display inspector we just tick this make sure you have ticked it and then you just the same option will show selection display inspector go here we just make it one visas now we are in the one visa stress now we can select the point just go to node choose any one of the node here copy selection apply it now we are here just go to point choose this one no this is selected all remove selection any one of the node for that we can go for surface with edges equal and stresses now we can select the node
Ah, yes, this will select only the surface node. If you want to unselect it. Now see here we are getting stresses. So it will visible the stress value what so where there are four nodes I have selected. So this is the value first value, second value like this we can check. So so in this we have analyzed a simply supported boom, simply supported beam in Salomeca. So we have checked the result with the analytical results. So thank you for watching my videos. Please subscribe my channel for more videos. Thank you.